Hello, welcome back to Writing with Wade. We are continuing our creative writing experiments. We are now on experiment number three. Experiment number three is writing anything about anthropomorphism. Oh, look, it's Mickey Mouse. This is a very old sculpture I have of Mickey from Disneyland, and Mickey Mouse is an example of anthropomorphism. What is anthropomorphism? Well, think of it as any time you attribute human behavior or attributes to an animal character or an object. Uh, think Mickey Mouse, right? Mickey Mouse is a mouse, but he's dressed up, he's walking, he's talking. Think of the characters in Zootopia. Think of, um, uh, it doesn't have to be an animal, it could be an object. Think of the toys from Toy Story or Brave Little Toaster. There's also anthropomorphism in the Disney Pixar film Inside Out. So for today's experiment, I would like you to create a very short story using anthropomorphism. Now when I say a very short story, that's up to you how long you want it to be. Uh, maybe it's a few pages, but if you are not sure about this assignment and want to do something short, I'd like you to think about fables. The fables from ancient Greece, like Aesop's fables, they are filled with anthropomorphism. So think of the tortoise and the hare, the fox and the crow, the grasshopper and the ant. Those fables are very short, they have a nice little moral at the end of them, and they've got great examples of anthropomorphism. So try to create your own version of a fable. Taking something, an object, an emotion, an animal, and giving it human qualities. That means you could dress it up if you want, or you can have it talk, uh, whatever human qualities you want to add to it, Go for it, have fun experimenting with anthropomorphism.